In today's health alert, the new year has brought a big change for asthma patients who use a popular drug to help them breathe. The inhaler brand has been discontinued and replaced with a generic version that may not be covered by the patient's insurance company. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parth and Andy, back from the holiday break with the details on the switch and what it can mean for users that use this medication. Doc. Yeah, Brian, you know, so this change is really taking some asthma patients by surprise. As of January 1st, the medication called Flowet is no longer being produced. Instead, the manufacturer, GSK, is now offering an authorized generic version that's identical to Flowet but without the branding. Now, for decades, right, Flowet has been the most commonly used anti-inflammatory medication for these patients. Thousands of people with persistent asthma have dependent on this to help prevent breathing issues. The inhaled drug actually shrinks swelling in the airways and reduces the body's response to the triggers that make it hard to breathe. So health experts say that generic drug works the same as Flowent, but the concern is this, that it may not be covered as widely by insurance companies. Big problem. That means that patients may need to scramble to get new prescriptions for a different medication that is covered by the insurance. And of course, the switch is coming when? At a time when respiratory illness are at their highest, when our, you know, virus season is a crucial time for asthma patients to have a daily preventative medication like Flovent. You know, you have COVID, flu, RSV. These are some of the biggest causes of asthma attacks in kids and that often lead to emergency room visits and even hospitalizations. Uh, doctor, do you have any insight as to why maybe a uh, health provider would not cover a generic version of a drug? And then also, you know, why is this being discontinued in the first place? Yeah, important questions, right? It's so, so the disappearance, Brian, of Flovent seems to all come down to the complexities of healthcare and drug pricing. The manufacturer, GSK, says the generic versions of the aerosol and powder quote unquote, provide patients in the U.S. with potentially lower cost alternatives of these medically important products. However, experts in the industry point out this, that GS GSK is making the switch at the same time that Medicare rebate laws are changing. And here's what's happening. There's no longer a cap on the amount of Medicaid rebates companies are required to pay as penalties for raising the price of medications more than inflation. So according to data from GoodRx, the price of the branded Flovent has increased about 47% since 2014. So GSK could have ended up incurring larger rebates to Medicaid this year that may have even exceeded the cost of the drug. However, regardless of the reason for the switch, right, if you are a user of Flowent, please check with your insurance company right now to see if the generic version is covered and talk with your doctor to find out if there are alternatives and what they may be because you want you don't want to miss this because asthma attacks for those who you suffer from it yeah. you know, it can be pretty serious well and, and hopefully maybe some of the insurance providers will will change their policies now that flow events no longer on shelves you would hope so but they're really slow to change I, I want to put a lot of faith in the insurance companies but I've been burned so many times if there's a way not to cover something and I'm saying this on air so I apologize they 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 do for some reason so whatever the reason be you got to be proactive as a patient make sure you don't get that hole and get a tax shop around too exactly right. thanks doc appreciate it of course it. my pleasure if you have a health question for the doctor you can email him dr nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on facebook